guys i got a lot of feedback from the last video that i did about dr rachel and everything i'm going to talk about in this video has to do with the comment section the comments in the comment section of my last uh, video i talk about how good this cream is and there are some shocking comments that i saw and since then i'm like is this actually the the dr rachel that i'm using as well because i saw about four or five comments about it giving them some bond I saw one comment about it giving that person white cast. That's like the shockest of it all. Like Dr. Rachel giving you white cast. Dr. Rachel is like is a gel-like face cream. So it should even actually make your face glow. You know that effect you get on your lips when you put lip gloss on your lips. That should be the effect you should see on your face if you are using the original Dr. Rachel face cream. I know it can be so difficult because the market is so messy. You might not be able to get the original Dr. Rachel face cream. But if the one you're using is nowhere like a gel, or if the one you're using smells funny, it smells citrus. So if you if the one you're buying or if the one you're using does not look anywhere closer to that, and if the one you're using is giving you a white cast, I'm very sure you are, you are with the fake Dr. Rachel because the original Dr. Rachel that I have, even from the container, the way it is in the container, know that it is gel like more like a watery gel form. So when you apply it on your face, it gives that plump look, and this is what Dr. Rachel looks like. Your Dr. Rachel is no way like this. Probably you are not using the original. No way you apply something like this on your face and you are going to be left with a white cast. This is what I apply on my face right now and I have not even used a sunscreen. If you have a oily skin, you might want to stay away from Dr. Rachel face cream because it leaves that oil feel on the skin. Like if you guys are... I do not increase the brightness of my phone at all. I'm just filming directly from my camera. I didn't adjust the lightning. And that's because I just want to tell you guys, this is what it feels like on the skin. So if you know you have oily skin, you might want to stay away from Dr. Rachel face cream. If the Dr. Rachel face cream you are using is giving you some bone, I want you to check the other things you are using with the Dr. Rachel face cream. Because the combination of vitamin C with sunscreen is like the best bet for you to help you with sunburn so if you're now having sunburn if you're having the reverse effect i want you to check other products that you're using alongside the dr rachel face cream so just check it if you're using um if you want to use the nivea um three in one cleanser as well people who are asking if they can use it with the dr rachel face cream sure you can you can actually go for more gel like sunscreen as well with your dr rachel face cream if you want to use it don't go for the heavy sunscreen because I use this with ultras and I can tell you for a fact that it is heavy. So if you know that you want to use a sunscreen with it, you can get a gel-like sunscreen just like this as well because it's going to, it's more like the best protection for your skin. You can as well check what I'm saying online. Vitamin C with sunscreen is more like the best protection for your skin. So if you're having a reverse effect, if you're having a sunburn, something is wrong somewhere. It might be maybe you have um other active in the product i use on your face and you're not protecting your face enough vitamin c alone is not enough to protect your face from the sun so you still need to use a sunscreen to help protect your face but if naturally you feel like vitamin c is the only thing you're applying on your face and you're having a sunburn then i need you to check the one you're using if you're using a vitamin if you're using dr rachel vitamin c face cream and you're having a white cast on your face it is absolutely no please just go and trash it out and go get a new one from a trusted vendor one thing that i do not like about the packaging is that you cannot quickly identify the original because of how the packaging is there's a liner wrap on the carton before you now get inside before you now see this bottle inside so there's no way you are going to be able to identify the original until you pay for it and you open it which is which can be a little bit difficult i understand Just be careful when you're getting um your product and i think more reason why people stay away from this particular product because the fake is a lot so if you are using this please buy from a trusted um supplier tell them you can even open it in their presence to let them know that what what they are selling if it is original or not when i go to the market and it's a product i cannot identify before i buy if it is original or not i make sure i open it right there to see so the reaction on my face i might even tell them please change your supplier because this particular product you give me right now is not good it's not the original the one i used before does not even look any way closer to this unless the company put out an information that maybe there is a change in their packaging so these are the things that you should look forward to i just want to talk to you guys about you being able to identify the original 
from the flake so if you are using it and you have a white cast if you are using it and you have a sunburn there is high probability that you are using the fake because i have used so many containers of dr rachel and i do not regret one of your products just be sure that you know how to combine and you are not using them with your enemies the likes of retinol do not use them with it so this is just one thing that i want to talk about about the comments that i've been receiving about this particular dr rachel face cream and just so we can move to the next product so if you have any question you can still leave it in the comment section i will try to type and reply you and if you're watching this video as well and you saw a comment in the comment section and you think you have an answer to it please feel free to reply another person as well in the comment section let's just help each other and just have a great skin so before you go guys please do me a favor smash the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on and i will definitely talk to you guys in my next video